Hello everyone, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to be recording a very, very, very in-depth response about why Nightshype um, is kind of, or the competitive Nightshype meta is pretty broken right now, how they should fix it in this long 15 minute video. Um, otherwise, I'm super excited for today's video, everyone. If you would mind sharing the idea, you don't have to share the video, of course, with um, other people, then uh, hopefully we can spread it out a little bit and kind of uh, try to push for it to be implemented into the game. And the great thing about this idea is that it doesn't affect what Nightshape is currently doing with seasons and everything. And it will fix um, the uh, idealism that you should be doing a lot of, uh, or you should be or increasing your activity, I should say, just to um, rank high in the leaderboards. Whereas in order to rank high in the leaderboards, you should really be working on your accuracy and um, uh, your uh, speed in general, sorry. Um, so otherwise, what I'm doing today is talking about this. I'm super excited and I will just jump right into the video. It's pretty long, just bear with me, but let's get right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going over why Nickstripe should actually remove the leaderboards. And before you go jump on the hate train and say that um, they shouldn't because you've gone on there at some time, just hear me out and I'll go over some. Otherwise, let's go right into the video and talk about why they should actually remove the leaderboards. So I have my phone right here and I wrote a long paragraph to PenguinTyper when he posted a video um, talking about this. And um, the basically thing, or basically the thing that I said that the biggest problem with Nightshipe, competitive Nightshipe, is the activity that people are putting on their uh, accounts. So if you're doing a thousand races a day, what are you taking away from everything else that you could be doing by doing those 12, 14 hours of racing a day? And that's the first thing. And then I also said that leaderboards in the end are not um, going to hold Nightshape competitive community because you're going to have account shares on the top and you're going to have uh, whatever botters possibly. And so at the end, it's just not something that can really hold uh, the community to a certain standard. So um, what I was going to say is that I believe a new competition like or a new competitive thing like should happen. And this is called leagues. So what leagues are, are is basically they... Um, or I could say right here, um, or so Titanium Tendons did talk about leagues, and what they are is that you're ranked in like one place, saying Copper maybe, and I'm going to base this off of the game Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, because I do sometimes play the game, and I find it very complex and very interesting. So I'm just going to base off this idea off of the ranking system in Rainbow Six Siege, and then what other games also kind of do this ranking system by. So in Rainbow Six Siege, you have Copper, uh, you have bronze, silver, gold, uh, uh, platinum, diamond, and champion. And so in each of these um, leagues, in order to rank up in a league and in order to get more MMR, which um, are called like points, we'll say points in this um, example. So in order to, or actually I won't say points. I'll say like um, I said, I, I said it up here. Oh yeah, a different type of points. So basically MMR. Um, and so in order to get this different type of points and MMR to um, rank up, you, maybe you need to do 15 races in Copper at, in Copper League and like 100 races in um, Champions League to um, be able to compare against everyone else. And so what this does is you can take the 100 races that you did or your 100 best races or the races that got you the most points. And what you can do with this is you can be able to... Um, or Nightshape can be able to stack you against other people. And depending on how you do in those 100 races against other people, they will either higher MMR by a certain extent or lower it. So if you're the best out of the 100 people, maybe they'll hire it by like 100 MMR. And if you're like in the middle and like maybe just like um, out of say 100 people, you're like 40th place, maybe they'll hire it by only like 10. So this is one of the things I thought was really interesting because basically by doing this, you can reward speed and accuracy and um, demean basically what activity really is in the game. So if you can do this, then that will be very interesting. So points are very um, kind of on, almost centered towards speed right now. And the reason why these point systems work 
in um i should say in the current competitive state of or in cur- the current meta of uh nature type is the fact that essentially they um are uh the texts are longer and they're uh basically catered the points or your point amounts are catered towards uh faster racers because they can't complete as many texts in a given time necessarily as you might be able to in uh if you type 50 words per minute so what happens here is you have the top racers will say like uh josh viel uh sean rona raptor all of these people up there and then you have these people like maybe wildflower who can't get out of like gold league because she can type uh, accurately but at the end of the day she won't be able to compare to those people who maybe type 60 words a minute and just as accurate who might be a higher mr and therefore um this is the big problem that somebody might present when you're talking about this and so in order to adapt this new type of leagues you have to also adapt points so if i look at my phone right here i said that um essentially uh, where did I put this? Oh, yeah. So to make it fair for some slow racers, I believe that points should be balanced to 80% accuracy and 20% speed or something along those lines. This will give slower racers option to advance, but the top will still be dominated by faster racers. So essentially, you can go 29 words a minute with nine or with 100% accuracy for 100 races, and you can um, get to that, uh, what should I say, get to that um, platinum league, say. But you won't be able to advance because simply your points aren't good enough to beat those racers who maybe type 90 words a minute with 96 accuracy. Uh, then uh, what I should say, you're 29 with 100%. So people who type um, slower, they could still get up there, but they can't get to the top. And what this um, actually does, this competition thing... It essentially um, gives racers who fast or who type fast, and it motivates people to type the fastest that they possibly can because the leaderboards is based, and these big leagues, uh, Champions League, will say, is based simply on how fast and accurate you can type, which at the end of the day is what Nitro Type is all about. And so that's what the big thing that I was going to talk about. And so the other thing that was really important that people obviously wanted to address is what if you want a team season? What if you're a wildflower and you have this, or what if you're Mal and you have these seasons, or you can even say Smithy or tenants or anybody that's ever won a season. And you have this season right here that shows your hard work towards the game and shows the uh, advancements that you basically made that entire season, the sacrifices that you had to made make to win that season how am i going to get rewarded with that well the first thing that i'd like to say is the top three badges i don't want to say i well actually personally i think that they should not just be for current top players they should also technically be for those people who have uh, ranked top three in any season and so what this does is it kind of rewards people that won a season but then Penguin Typer, I recently watched an interview that came out yesterday by the time you're watching this. Um, I watched an interview by Penguin Typer and Titanium Tennis, their 1,000 subscriber collab. And what it basically went over, and Penguin Typer went over, he said he scratched the idea, but it's that you get trophies. And what trophies are is like if you rank number one this season, maybe you get 100 trophies and two, 99, et cetera, et cetera, until you get down to 100 where you only get one. But what this basically does is that it can reward people who um, have ranked high in a season and can also do uh, essentially what that is, or essentially what uh, I should say. Wait, what was I talking about? I just completely forgot. Oh, yeah, it can reward people who've grinded um, all of their entire season or like their entire three months just to win that simple season. So um, what I was also going to bring up is I'm just kind of spitting ideas right now because I just remember this other idea that I had where it's like you can have this little title, like this little sliver that maybe showed you, maybe um, showed uh, like her title. No, like, yeah, title. And it's like um, it's like season twenty one winner for Titanium Tendons, season twenty one runner up, or season twenty one second place, third place, season uh, twenty one top one hundred, 
um, or something along those lines. It would probably have to be a catcher name for those who place in the top 100. But this can basically give people who have ranked high in seasons that um, thing to show them that they have ranked high. And then it would, all, would also be cool is if we brought these uh, seasons or these leaderboards and we can click on each league and see what everybody's in. Then what we can also see is that, um, or what I should say is what we would also see is we could see like a historical archives of each and every one of the seasons that goes down. And the great thing about this is that it wouldn't affect Nitrotype whatsoever, the website itself. So maybe uh, people would say like, oh, um, well, no, here's what I should say. You can still earn all these achievements. Nitrotype can still cater to gold members or whatever they'd like to do with the game or with the website. And, and this type of leaderboards wouldn't even affect the game. And so what's great about this is that literally it won't affect the game um, because you could like Nitro can be doing their own thing or whatever they'd like basically um, with seasons and everything. And you can keep the seasons. You can have these leagues and each of the season, the league resets and you can get back um, into the league or like maybe you reset like half of your um, MMR, as I mentioned earlier, you have your MMR. Uh, to that point, like I remember in uh, the game that I play on my phone called Clash Royale, um, it basically talks about MMR and um, or no trophies. And each season, Clash Royale is broken into seasons, and each season your trophies get reset uh, by half, or like they get cut in half uh, to a certain extent. And so I thought this is really interesting because maybe you start off in Copper League. And then you can go um, as zero uh, MR or points or whatever you'd really like to call it. And then once you get into bronze, maybe that would be 250. And silver, 500. Uh, uh, gold, 1,000. Platinum, 2,000. Um, uh, diamond, 4,000. Champions, 5,000. Whatever you'd like to say. And this is gets really interesting because once you cut that in half, essentially what you're doing is that you're um, setting a fair game for those people in champions so they're not being like destroying those people who were previously in copper but maybe they're going up against people who are also cut in half and maybe they're in like platinum or gold when they first place and then they work their way back up as would people who would work their way back up to silver and such and so what i thought would be really cool with this is that each season now, this is, I'm just spitballing an idea right here, too. But what each season, Nurture could come up with like a little car. Like, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be special. But it would be cool to be special. But maybe it could fit the theme. Like, if Nitro Type um, had this Vaporwave se se uh, vapor theme in season 27, maybe they can come out with a Vaporwave car and each, um, and this would like totally change the game, actually. So, um, each of the Vaporwave car. And um, each of the cars, like, depending on it. So say, like, I remember in Rainbow Six Siege, you have copper, which is like a red kind of. Bronze is a bronze, obviously. Silver, gold. Platinum's like a light blue. Diamond's like a light purple. And Champions is like a pink. And maybe you can almost, I should say, almost, um, uh, basically what you can do is you uh, give the color um, of what you got that season to the uh, car or like correspond with the car. And obviously most of these ideas are based off of Rainbow Six Siege and Clash Royale because their basis of competitiveness is focused purely on skill and not on activity as we can see with um, Nitrotype as of right now in the meta. And so what this does is it can diminish um, activity. It can... Uh, in, or uh, I should say, it can, like, um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, it can um, help people improve their speed and work for a minute and motivate people to do that rather than just sitting at the computer, typing away at, like, uh, for 600 races a day for the personal gain of ranking behind the leaderboards rather than simply um, just trying to improve their words for a minute and play the game for what it's originally meant for to improve their words per minute. And obviously, working towards these King of the Race cards is obviously very important to people. And quite frankly, there's no way that you can take that out personally because simply put, it just doesn't work um, currently. 
So anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed listening to my 15 minute rant. And if you did watch the end of this, thank you so much. I know it was um, pretty hard to listen to, but I hope you did kind of take away from this. And once again, I'm just going to say it again. If you can share this to other people, if you um, uh, like the idea or like share, do, do, you don't even have to share the video. Um, you can share the idea, but uh, if you'd like to also share the video just to go more into depth, then you can also do that. But otherwise, thank you for watching everyone today. I really, I really do hope that we can change the com uh, the current meta of nature type to something that's a little bit more complex, more deep, and improves uh, speed and accuracy rather than activity. Thank you for watching everyone, and peace out.